Today I want to talk about uh, boot camp. Welcome here to Pepper Bay ASMR. If you're here for the first time, uh, we welcome you. And uh, we're everything about relaxation and entertainment and a little mixture of that all. And today I'm doing a little story, 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 story chat. Um, I want to talk a little bit about boot camp. One of our uh, subscribers here and uh, is getting ready to go into boot camp. And so I told him that I would do a video on how to survive boot camp, how to survive boot camp. And I want to look at uh, four different areas. First of all, physical readiness. Secondly, mental preparation. Third, teamwork and camaraderie. And fourth, I want to look at organization and attention to detail. And uh, so let's just go back for a moment. Well, myself, boot camp going in for the first time and not knowing what to expect. Um, and most of the stuff that I did know about the military and about boot camp was found in movies. You know, full metal jacket and um, all, all these different things that uh, depict uh, boot camp or your time in the military, et cetera, et cetera. So there it could be a little bit of anxiety and fear and trepidation as we recognize that um, you're getting ready to go in and you don't know what to expect. So I want to give you just a few tidbits. First of all, let's look at uh, physical readiness. All right? um, one of the things that I notice probably in every uh, company or every troop or whatever, whatever you want to call them um, is that in every company, boot camp company, there was always some one at least or more was not in shape at all. I mean, at all. With all the things that you have to be able to um, accomplish in order to be able to get in. I don't know, every branch has different uh, requirements. You have to run mile in this or this and that. And uh, so even with all of those things, there were still people that got all the way to boot camp. And you're wondering, how did you even pass the basics to be here in boot camp. I want you to make sure you're not one of those. I want you to start right now preparing physical, physically, physically. Listen, listen. You're not gonna do well if you have not been active, not been in sports, not understand those things, and then all of a sudden you are thrust into this new world, uh, and now you have to be, have a physical, uh, you have to be physically ready. You have to be strong. You have to kind of, there's some things that they don't want to teach you. You better know. And you better be ready. You better have your cardio ready. Um, depending on which branch you're going to be in. You, you, I mean, each one is a little more stringent and, 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 and uh, challenging uh, than the other. You know, some are more challenging than others. I was in the Navy, and it was it was challenging, but I can't say, I, I mean, I can't compare it to Marines or the Army or, or you know, so I, I don't, because I don't know. But I would suppose that those were tougher. Um, and, and anyway, I, I'll, I'll talk about that in a little bit. Let, let me stay right here on this physical readiness. Cardio is going to be important. If... I would suggest that if you're getting ready to go in, that you start at least three times a week cardio. Cardio. Uh, you might want to do it in stages. You might want to start on the treadmill, walking, jogging, running, and then running outside. And running on the treadmill is not, let me say this again, running on the treadmill is not the same as running outside. So I would encourage you, I mean, if, if you need to take that uh, step approach, then go ahead and take that. Do it in stages and steps. Um, but if, 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 if uh, you're ready to just go out and start right outside, go ahead and do that because you're going to notice it's a big difference between running on a treadmill and running outside. So you might be a treadmill warrior, but I guarantee you at boot camp you will not be on a treadmill. I guarantee that you're going to be running up uh, outside, uphill, 
downhill on different types of terrain. So you've got to be ready. You got to get yourself ready. All right. The other thing, start lifting some weights right now. All right. Cardio is important, but you need to also get your strength up. Get your strength up. What you want to do is make sure that there is nothing in front of you. I mean, it's already going to be challenging enough. But if you're out of shape, smoking, cigarettes, or something else, if you're doing all of those type of things and you're getting ready to go into boot camp right now, then um, you may not be ready. You may not be ready. And I, I guarantee, guarantee you, you're going to suffer a whole lot more if you're not physically ready. So do that, stretch, um, and, and, and just get yourself ready for that. So that's the physical part of it. Physically, I'm not saying you need to be a top shape and, you know, muscles bulging and, and all of that kind of stuff. But I'm saying especially cardio and just basic strength training, I would really encourage you to start before boot camp. But don't wait till you get there. You're going to be in some trouble if you are, right? So second, second, mental preparation. And this is probably the biggest one. I saw men who strong physically and all that, but mentally they broke and they went back home. This is what it, this is this is how I like to prepare people whenever they're asking me regarding boot camp and my experience and what they should expect. This is how I phrase it. Pretend it's a game. See in a, in a game, yeah, you might get a little frustrated in the game and all that, but you recognize it's a game. And I want you to kind of take that approach when you're hearing the yelling, the correction from instructors. Now, I mean, take the, the correction and all that kind of stuff, but I mean, the way in which they do it, the yelling. You've got to learn to turn and tune out those distractions and focus a miss chaos. I want you to actually think about that for a moment. All right? I'm calling this a game, the objective of the game. I want you to look at the objective of the game. All right? They're putting you in through boot camp, right? They're taking away your identity. They're giving you a new identity. You're, you're going to be saved, right? Well, and, and I guess the men, they, they still shave their hair, I think. Right? They're gonna put you in a uniform, so everyone think you, everyone's gonna be supposedly uniform. Right? Everyone's supposed to look and sound and act like, and, and all those type of things. So that's the 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 but the, the goal, the game, the end game of the goal is that you might have this united group troop of men and women who are now bonded together in this brotherhood and they're going to fight for one another with one another they're going to encourage one another they're going to help one another they're going to do all of those things so that is the end game but when we walk in in boot camp you're individuals and the company commanders the sergeants drill sergeants the you know their job is to weed out the weak and develop the strong. Weed out the weak. And I saw it. Oh, I saw a lot of weeding out the weak. People that were there and then all of a sudden, after a little bit of time there, they're gone or they went home or they, you know, um, someone, some even went AWOL, you know, from boot camp. It happens. It happens. And so all of it starts right here, though. If you walk into their understanding and realizing they have an objective, I have an objective. My objective is to be conformed. My objective is to, to, to allow this process to take place and to mold and to make me into the sol this soldier, this sailor, this airman, this whatever it might be. That's the goal. That's the goal. Now, I call it a game because for me, when they would come, when they came up before me and all that, I'm going to play the game. 
I'm going to play the game. Yes, sir. I'm going to play the game. No, sir. I'm going to play. I'm going to play all of that. And when they come to me, don't take it personal. That's the key. Don't take it personal. If you know the objective, and if you think of it in terms of this is just a game, and I'm in this game, and I got. And I gotta suck it up, and I gotta take it, and I gotta, I gotta be, you know, because I understand the big picture. The big picture isn't what's happening right now. The big picture of what is trying to develop you to become. So, learn to tune out distractions, and focus, focus, even amidst the chaos. And I think that's also important. That's an important training, also. Because if you're a soldier and you're in war or, or you're in a combat or anything like that, there's going to be a lot of chaos. There's going to be a lot of things that are being thrown at you at the same time. And those that can focus in the midst of the chaos have greater likelihood of being able to overcome what's happening at that moment. But if you become overwhelmed, you see, you, you see now why these things are important. You've got to learn how, learn to tune out distractions, right? Embrace, <laughs> how do I put this? Embrace the suck. This sucks. Embrace it. Recognize it's part of the process and change your mindset to thrive under this duress, all right? How do you do that? How do you, well, visualize yourself succeeding. Visualize yourself achieving and overcoming. Do some positive talk, self-talk, even in the midst. You're sitting there right there. They can't get in your head. Listen, the only one that can get, who can really get in your head is whoever you allow. You have to open the door. You have to let them gain power and entrance into your mind and heart and your feelings and all of that. Or you could learn to go. Throw it all at me. <laughs> I'll take it. You know, you've got to be, you've got to be strong within yourself. You know, I, I think that's one of the things that YouTube is, teaches and reinforces uh, in me also. And I'm very, I'm challenged uh, sometimes because, you know, you you wanna you wanna be friends with everybody. You wanna be um, liked by people. You wanna you know, all those type of things. But but then you look in the comments and people are you know, putting disparaging things or accusations or this or that. And, and, and you've got to know who you are. You got to know who you are. You can't let the anyone else come into your mind and, and, and inject their thinking into you, you know. No. Listen, this is what I do. This is my approach for anything in life. And I'm not just only talking about drill sergeants or anything like that, what they throw at you. I'm talking about just people, period, life, period. Um, whatever gets thrown at you, you have the power to let it in or discard it like trash. Also, also, you also have the power to let some of it in. This is, this is what I call eating the fish and throwing away the bones, right? And utilize the things that are going to help you and discard the things that are no good, right? And so, even if you think you're right, listen, let me, let me just say this. The drill sergeant is always right. <laughs> even when they're wrong. You got me? Oh, here's another, here's another little tidbit and this is true this is true volunteer for nothing all right you, you, some of you may have heard that those of you who've been in the military you know volunteer for nothing <laughs> so uh sometimes we want to be the i'm gonna yeah, uh, anyway, anyway uh, uh, let, let, let me get let me get back to my point physical readiness number one number two is that mental preparation and what what you can be doing even as you're standing in the line and things of that nature is talking to yourself internally they can't get in your head 
And you can be combating whatever's going on right there in that moment. Don't let them, let them see you sweat. Oh, I think that's a good one too. That just came. Don't let them see you sweat or suffer. They like to hone in the, on the weak and continue to try to exploit that to see how deep it goes. Don't give them nothing. Yes, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. That's it. That's good enough. <laughs> All right. Third one. Teamwork and camaraderie. This is going to be huge. I don't care what branch. It's all the same thing. Bond with your squad mates because you're all in this thing together. And, and this is what they want you to see. Teamwork makes the dream work. You've heard that. You've heard that a million times. Well, it's even more especially true, right, in, in, in the military because you're a band of brothers. You need one another. You're going to rely on one another. And so even in boot camp, they're starting that. They're trying to foster that type of, of uh, unity even on those early stages. And so they want to see you helping struggling teammates improve their performance. Right? It's not only about you. Let me just say that again. It's not only about you. I remember we had a, we had a, a, like I said, a guy that came in and I just wondered, how did you even get here? And he, oh, he was one of the guys that in like full metal jacket, remember they wanted to put, they put the soap and all that kind of stuff in there and beat somebody because they were bringing the whole team down this is the type of individual that we're talking about and like I said you if you go to boot camp you'll probably have one and if you don't have one in your group you might be it <laughs> but here's the key you have someone in there like that or maybe a couple like that you can't just sit back and be like look at you doofus Come on, man, get up. Come on, man, do your stuff. No, no. What they want you to see, what they want to see is you encouraging that person, helping that person to overcome. Not just you, but the group. They want to see the group coming together to help. All right. So here's another thing. Keep uh, keep your spirits high. Try humor. You know, all the kind of, and, and some of this stuff just happens naturally anyway, but uh, I, I just want, want to say how important uh, it is to keep your spirits up. This is going to be probably one of the most challenging times of your life. I know for myself, it was the very first time I had ever been away from home for that long. As a matter of fact, I went to boot camp in San Diego, California. I live on the East Coast, so I'm all the way on a different coast altogether, right? And it's been the longest time I've been away from mom and my siblings and, and my friends and family and all that. And so now it, it, it was very, very challenging. And so you need to have some friends. You all need to encourage one another. You need that encouragement and you need to give it and you need to receive it. Right? So that's teamwork and camaraderie. And lastly, lastly organization attention to detail listen this is one of the things that they are going to be harping on you the fold there's a certain way that they want everything done folding needs to be done a specific way pay up attention to details because details matter think about it once again as training for warfare in warfare the details matter it could be the little things that determine life and death it could be the little things that determine victory or defeat it could be the small details that take you down 
or lift you up, give you victory, or bring defeat. Well, you know what? Let, let me add one more thing. I think is is really, really, really important. I mean, yeah, we're, we're talking about the details and finding, fine-tuning things. Learn, learn to iron. Learn to, um, you know, make sure you you know how to do a bed and fix a bed. I mean, just li little things, but also learn to triple check things, double check things, etc., etc. Uh, don't get caught sleeping and slipping, all right? Because they will exploit those things. And someone will be in your face and yelling and saying something to you. And once again, when that happens, it's just a game. Receive it as just a game. <laughs> Think about it. <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> He's doing a pretty good job as a drill instructor. He's doing a pretty good job. Or she. Or she. You know. All right. So, one more thing I want to share is about just taking care of yourself. All right. Uh, boot camp could be eight weeks, you know, I don't know how, how long, what's the longest boot camp is, whatever, but it could be a few months, all right, a couple months, a few months away. You got to take care of yourself. You got to take self-care even while you're in. Um, some of the things I, I well, went to church, all right, you, you get opportunity for church. Matter of fact, even if you're not religious, Take the opportunity to go to church. Why? It helps you to get away from the group. And sometimes you just need to get away. So, you know, you pick somewhere to go and just go to connect, even if it's just connecting with yourself. Of course, you know, I'm a Christian, so I want to encourage you to go to Christian church. But that's not what this is about. This is about getting, finding a space for yourself, too. All right. The other thing is drink, water, eat. I know it's not going to be home cooking and all everything you want, but don't let yourself. I saw people who were so picky with food that they didn't hardly eat and they started wasting away. All right. Don't do that. Don't do that. Matter of fact, uh, the, usually, um, from what I remember, we were we were looked at to make sure we ate. All right. So, but everyone's probably not like that. But nevertheless. You take care of you. Self-care is going to be so important. Personal hygiene, important. Listen, don't be the dude that's stinking. You know what I'm saying? Don't be that stinking dude that people. You know, because you, you got to get along with people. You're going to be in tight quarters with people. Don't you going to be? You know what I'm saying? So. Um, take care of your personal hygiene because if not, you want to hear it from the company commanders and you are going to hear it from your fellow soldiers. All right. Um, I think I'm coming to the end. I got all my notes that I had, I've got out, and I can't think of anything right now that needs to really be said that we have not already said, but, um, I'll, I'll just say this, if if you're going in or even thinking about going in, uh, if you have a question, put it in the comments below if I can help or someone here can help that's been through that, then go right ahead and, and uh, put that in for us. But uh, uh, I just want to say congratulations to, I don't have his name right now, but I'm going to put the Put it right here, the one who asked me to uh, do this. Or didn't even ask. He just said he was going into boot camp, and I said I would. Um, thank you for stimulating this conversation. I think it's an important one. I think hopefully it can be beneficial to so many other people that are contemplating going into the military. Um, I am thankful. I've, I've served in the Navy. I have uh, two children who um, or, or in the air, well, one is in the Air Force, one is already out of the Air Force. Uh, he, he served his, his time. Um, and one, you know, our daughter, she's, she's actively a career, career Air Force. Uh, and then I have another daughter getting ready to go into the Air Force. So this is a subject matter that's pretty, it's pretty close to home. And so I'm thankful to be able to share this with you and hope that something was said to give you some strength give you some encouragement, give you some insight into this. If you have any questions, once again, put them in the comments below. If uh, you are anything else, you know, I, I'll see you in the next video.
thank you once again for all your dedication to this channel. I'm so thankful and grateful for you all. God bless. Take care.